basically, right now, the reason why Praz wants wanted Miles to testify is because Praz had realized that all of his his uh, lifelines were already spent, and he realized that the DOJ was done with him, and they were ready to dust him off. And so now they wanted Miles to testify so that Miles lets everybody know and puts it on the record that all the information that Miles has on how many people are working for the DOJ, how many people are being paid, I'm sorry, working for the CCP, being paid by the CCP, and even people who are working for our DOJ, for example, uh, George Higginbotham, who was an attorney working, actively working for the DOJ when he was also working for the PRC and CCP. So Praz realized that he was on his last leg and now he needed the guy he was trying to extradite, he needed him to save him. He needed to be saved by Miles, the guy he's been trying to extradite, because the DOJ, and guess what? They also passed the baton mm -hmm. because what they've been trying to do for all these years, get Miles arrested and particularly through years, years ago, particularly trying to make a trade with the US for Miles and spies and get him extradited. Now, they are still talking about this and just pass the baton over to, straight over to Biden, straight over to the DOJ. Listen, we'll give you the CIA, just give us uh, miles. So with all of what we've been seeing all these weeks, uh, these past few weeks we've been discussing on our show, with all of what we've been seeing, we see that all these separate, un independent cases happening, all including miles, and all of it includes, uh, you know, CCP infiltration, you know, CCP getting data on our people. Yes. The, ca the cases we're talking about here, I, I just want to be more specific. Uh, again, Hagenbotham, right? Mm -hmm. And also the 34 indicted police officers, the victim number one is Miles Guo, and also the two arrested uh, police officers, CCP officers, right? And also Press Michelle's case. It all points to one person who is Miles Guo. Right. Miles Guo was labeled victim number one in the 34 indictment of the, uh, the 34 poli uh, CCP police that were, that were here in New York uh, that were named in the indictment as having these little, uh, you know, uh, five people having 100 laptops and, and phones, all making these pages, all to target Miles Guo as victim number one, and on top of that, other victims and dissidents of the CCP, but number one victim being uh, Miles Guo. And we see that this is what the CCP is doing. They've infiltrated our country. They've, gotten, they've been able to build these uh, police stations, and we see that this is their target, yet we, knowing that our enemy has created all of these things, and we have all these things against them, we have all these trials and all these things against them, and we see what they've been trying to pull, knowing that our government gave them the gift and arrested Miles Guo. Yes, another, another two uh, police officers who were arrested, they're just a representative, they're just leaders of those smaller groups, mm -hmm. uh, happened to live in New York City and running mm -hmm. a secret police in New York City, and we know, like, just under that one umbrella, they're like, <laughs> How many? 34 or 38 branches all over the world, mm -hmm. CCP uh, secret police uh, stations. So, but also for Hagenbotham's case and Press Michelle's case, Miles Wu is also victim number one because that's who they're trying to extradite. That's right. who they're trying to bring back to China and just silence him for, for life. Right.